Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids Team. Thank you so much for joining us here on Circle Time. I'm so happy to see all of you. And today I am here with my friend Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. Wow, I love joining Circle Time. It's so fun. We get to read books and we get to do activities and we even get to see some show and tells from our friends, which is my favorite thing. And friends, if you would like to see our next episode of Circle Time, you can hit the subscribe button so that you know when it's out. Today, we're going to start with two very special visitors. Teacher Naomi and her son Noah are going to join us here at Circle Time. And they are going to be talking about diversity. Friends, have you heard that word before? Do you know what it means? Well, we're about to find out. Can we all say hello to Teacher Naomi and Noah? Hi, Naomi. Hi, Noah. Hi Caroline. Hi Caroline. Hi Sophie. Hi Sophie. We are so excited to be here today. Are you excited? Yes. Me too. So what we wanted to talk about today was diversity. That's a really big word. Have you heard of that word before? Yes. I'm going to tell you what it means. Do you remember what it means? Yes. What does it mean? It means, um, I don't mean. Okay, that's okay. I'll tell you what it means. Okay. Friends, diversity means being different, having a lot of variety in things. Something that I think about, that I want you to think about, and you at home to think about, is a bowl of fruit. And imagine that there's a banana in there, there's strawberries, some apples, some oranges, some pears, maybe some peaches. Mm. They're all, are they all the same or does that all sound different? They all sound different. That all sounded different. That's diversity. Isn't that fun? Yes. Because if they were all the same, that would be kind of boring. It's nice to have different things, right? right? Okay, Noah. So now I want you to think about when you are at the playground or at school or out and you see people, do they all look exactly the same? No. No. What's different about them? Um, there's when, different diversity. They, there is diversity, but like, what do you notice that's different about a bunch of people? That they have different hair. And they can have different, different hair. And clothes. They can have different clothes, for sure. Okay, what I want you to do, and I want our friends at home to do, is look at this picture. You see this picture here? Yes. Of all these beautiful little kids? Yes. That picture says diversity to me. It shows diversity. What do you notice about these beautiful children? Um, that they all are different. How? Um, because they have different skin. They have different skin color. And even you and I have different skin color, right? Right. Yeah. And that's very beautiful. I Thank like that. You. I noticed that some of the kids have different hairstyles. Some is long. Yeah. Some is short. I even noticed that one cute little girl has a hijab on. Did you notice that? Yes. What's a hijab? Do you remember? We talked about that before. Mm, mm, kind of a hat. Kind of, it's a head covering that some people wear. So we don't know what her hair looks like, but her hijab is very beautiful. Right. What is some other things that you notice that makes these kids different? Um, that they have different um, clothes. Different clothes. I notice that some are short, some are taller. Some have different abilities. I notice there's some friends in a wheelchair, some using a walker, because sometimes people can do different things. Now, Noah, I have a question for you. What? Now, people are different, right? Right. Do you think that diversity, people being different, means that somebody is good or somebody is bad? No. Why not? Because we don't know them. We don't know them. We have to get to know them, right? Right. What do you think about diversity? What do you think about people that look different from each other? Different skin color, different hair color? different height, short and tall, some wear glasses, some people don't. What do you think about that? Um, I think um, um, it's great. I think so too. I think it's beautiful. Um, if everyone all looked the same, how do you think that would be? 
bully. I think so too. I think it's nice to have diversity because we can learn about different people. We can have different friends. Different doesn't mean better or worse. It just means what? Um, it just means diversity. It just means diversity. It just means different. Okay, well, Noah, thank you so much for talking about this word with me today. You did a really great job. Thank you, Mommy. Okay, and Caroline and Sophie, thanks so much for having us here. We had a really fun time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Teacher Naomi and Noah, for talking to us about diversity. Friends, can you think about your friends? How are they different? Hmm. Well, I have blonde hair, and you, Caroline, have dark brown hair. I do. And I have brown eyes, and Sophie has, mm, I would say, green eyes. Oh. Mm. And our skin color is a bit different, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's a little bit different. Some of our friends are saying that their friends wear glasses mm -hmm. when they don't wear glasses or they have really, really long legs, and so they're really, really tall, and some have really, really short legs, so they're quite short. Uh-huh. So friends are different in some ways, but the same in others. Like Sophie and I are different in the ways we were just talking about, but we're also the same. We both love being on circle time with all of you. And we love our friends, Cody and Rhea and Alo And Sandy, the dingo. Uh-huh. Hey. And Peck. Mm-hmm. So, friends, what do you think about that? That you're different from your friends in some ways, but also the same? Hmm, one of our friends says they feel great about that because it keeps things interesting. It would be really boring if we were all the same, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, we can celebrate our differences and we can learn a lot. That's how we learn from our friends who are different from us. So we've read many stories about friends who are different. Let's see if we can remember some of them. So these friends, Poppy and Daisy, are different in some ways. How are they different? Mmm, well, Daisy is quite tall, and Daisy has a yellow face. And Poppy is a little bit shorter, and Poppy is mostly red. Mm-hmm. But they're also the same in some ways. Yeah, well, when we read about Daisy and Poppy, we learned that they're the same because they were both looking for a friend and they liked spending time together. Uh-huh, and they're both flowers. Oh, yeah, they're both flowers. That's a good one, Caroline. Yeah. And these friends, Comet and Asteroid, are quite different, too. Hmm, this looks like Comet and asteroid are different because Comet is flying through the sky with all this purple and light and asteroid kind of looks like some rocks floating around. But guess what friends? Comet and asteroid have something in common, something that's the same. They're both in space. And friends, you know all of these friends. They are very good friends, but they're also very different from each other. How are they different? Hmm, well, I would say that they are from different parts of the world. So Cody there, our friend, is from America. And Sandy, the dingo, also our friend, 
is actually from Australia, which is a long, long way away from America. Mm -hmm. So they're from different countries. They're from different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. I think Rhea is a red panda from Asia. Yeah. And Milo is from Africa. Yeah, and I think that Peck is from South America. Mm -hmm. And how are they different in their sizes and their look? Oh, that's a good one, Carolyn. Yes, yeah, sometimes our differences are about how we look. And so Olo is a very blue elephant with those pink ears. And Olo is, I think, he's our tallest friend. And then Peck is very, very small. And I think Sandy has very, very big ears for listening. <laughs> and I think Cody has very, very small round ears. They're quite different, those ears. Mm -hmm. So they're all, they all look very different. They're different types of animals, different colors, different sizes. They're really good friends. And even though Olo is the biggest one and Peck is the smallest one, but they still are the best of friends and can do lots of things together. Yeah, it looks like they both like French toast. They're making it here, these friends, Olo and Peck. So just like friends can look very, very differently and still be good friends, sometimes friends can act and do things very differently and they can still be good friends. And today we're gonna read a story called The Story Club, which is about our friends writing a story. And they each write a story, but they each do it in their very own way. The Story Club by Cynthia Platt. Rhea wanted to start a story club. She was a little worried Cody, Olo, Sandy, and Peck wouldn't want to join. But all of her friends loved the idea. They assembled in Rhea's yard, ready to begin. Let's sit in a circle, Rhea told her friends, but they didn't hear her. Everyone kept talking about how much fun they were gonna have. Rhea struggled to get them to quiet down and listen. Finally, everyone settled down. It didn't last long though. Olo left to lie under a maple tree with his feet up. Peck nestled onto one of Olo's feet. He began writing his story and reciting it in a very loud voice. How does Rhea look in this picture? Rhea looks a little bit unhappy, maybe even frustrated. Sandy shuffled around until she took out a kazoo. She played the kazoo as she scribbled in her notebook. The sound startled Rhea. What are you doing, Rhea asked. I need some music to help me write, Sandy replied. Cody seemed to be writing quietly at first. Then she started to wriggle around. I'm terrible at this, she complained. I'll never finish a story. I'm sure you'll be able to do it, Rhea told her. Rhea had been excited about the story club. Not anymore. There was no possible way anyone could concentrate. Everyone was making too much noise to be able to write a story. This didn't work at all, she grumbled. Can we share our stories now, Peck asked. Are you done already? Rhea was surprised. Yes, I wrote a story about sliding down a rainbow, Paulo told her, and my story is a fable about a spider, Peck added. Wow, said Rhea, that's great. I'm finished too, Sandy said. So am I. What about you, Cody asked Rhea. I was so worried about your stories that I didn't write mine. I didn't realize you were writing all along, Rhea said. Everyone writes in their own way, Sandy replied. Olo and Peck shared their stories. Sandy read about a treasure hidden in the castle, 
and Cody read about a kickball game. After everyone left, Rhea snuggled up quietly in her hammock. Everyone writes in their own way, she said. And this is my way. So let's do some questions. What does Peck like to do when he's writing? And the options here are, he plays the kazoo, he recites his story loudly, he runs around, or he sits quietly. Friends, do you know which one it is? Does he recite his story loudly, Caroline? I think so. Let's try that one. Good job. Mm -hmm. And what does Sandy like to do when she's writing? Hmm, well, one of our friends just told me that Sandy loves music. Mm -hmm. So maybe Sandy likes to play the kazoo so that she can think of a great story to write. Mm-hmm, I think so. Good thinking. And the last one is what does Rhea like to do when she's writing? I think Rhea likes to sit quietly because not all of our friends like to make noise when they're thinking. Some of our friends need a really quiet space to write their stories. And I think Rhea is one of those friends. Yes, and I think that's why she was surprised that everyone else was singing their songs or walking around and talking loudly while they were writing. She really needs to be quiet. Good work. So here's another activity that we can do, friends. And we can finish the sentence and it says blank reads. And we have the options Olo, Sandy, Rhea, and Peck at the bottom. Which one do you want to try first? Rhea? Rhea reads. Rhea. And that's what she looks like when she reads. Do you want to try another one? Oh, so we get to just try all of them if we want? Yes, we can make all different sentences with our characters. Oh, well, I would like to try and see what Peck looks like when he's reading. Peck. So this one says Peck reads and he sits on top of the book. Good job, Peck. Uh, what about Olo? Where's Olo? Olo. Hmm. Whoa, the book looks so tiny because Olo is so big. Olo seems like he has a big smile on his face when he's reading because reading is so much fun, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we have Sandy reads. Sandy. That's great. I love to read. And here we have our friends, and as we were talking about their different heights, do you think we can order them by their height from the, the shortest to the tallest? Yeah. Well, I think the shortest is Peck. Okay, we'll move Peck over. <laughs> And then it's a tricky one because I think the ears make it very close between Sandy and Rhea. I think Rhea is a little shorter than Sandy. <laughs> and then Sandy's definitely shorter than Olo. Eight. <laughs> there you go. Mm hmm. And these are some other friends. Friends, what do you see are some of their differences? Hmm. Well, right away, I can see that one of our friends has beautiful red hair. And some of our other friends have really beautiful dark brown, maybe even black hair. Mm-hmm. Some of them have curlier hair versus straighter hair or wavy hair. Mm-hmm. And they have different shades of skin. So some skin is lighter skin and some skin is darker skin and it's all skin. So here are some more friends. What are some of the differences here? 
well, look at all our great friends here. They are different. Some of our friends are wearing dresses and some of our friends have shirts and trousers or pants. And one of our friends has a head covering, maybe a hijab. And our other friends don't. Mm -hmm. Some of our friends have lighter skin. Some of our friends have darker skin. Some of our friends have big smiles. Others have smaller smiles. They're all quite different, aren't they, Carolyn? Yes, lots of differences. And here are some other friends. Some of these might be grandparents, a grandma or a grandpa. What I'm thinking, Caroline, is that friends can have differences when they're young and friends can have differences when they're older, like the different hairstyles here or the way one of our friends here is walking with a cane and the others are not. But they're still friends, aren't they? That's right. We have a few more friends here. I see some different skin color again. One of our friends has really light skin and some of our friends have darker skin. One of our friends, in fact, two of our friends have a mustache and one is wearing a hat and the others are not. They're all quite different. I think we can find lots of friends in our communities that look very differently. So now it's time for show and tell. So these are some of our circle time friends who have sent in their drawings of Cody and our other characters. And they all look like they're pretty different. So we have friends that have different hairstyles, different skin colors, and some of them are probably different sizes too. But they all look like they love to draw and have drawn many of our characters, all of our characters, and even some of Rhea's bugs and Sandy's instruments and Peck's robots. Wow, thank you, friends. You are all amazing drawers and artists. And friends, if you would like to send something in, we love receiving all of your pictures and sometimes your videos of what you're getting up to. So you can send that in for show and tell and we will share it out on show and tell here on Circle Time. Yes, friends, we would love to hear from all of you. We would love to see your drawings and photos and videos of yourself and your family and your friends. We would love to celebrate all of our differences from friends around the world. And as we hear your stories, we'll also find out that we're all very similar too. Just like we all love to learn. How cool is that? Thank you so much, friends, and thank you for joining us again on Circle Time. Goodbye for now from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye. Bye, friends.